and tell the stars if thou be able to number them so shall and he said to him so shall thy seed be Matthew 2 and verse 2 saying where is he that is born king of the Jews for we are seen is star in the east and are come to worship him the power of your star the power of your star there is something about the star a man's star is the man's destiny a man's star is the man's identity now when god said and spoke to abraham many of us do not actually understand what genesis 15 5 means god never said abraham should count the star he didn't say if you can count the star he said if you can number there's a difference between counting and giving number so it was not a function of the abundance that god was showing him he was showing him if you can number so every star has a number You cannot take my star because the number of my star is on my star. When anybody is shining, it's because the star has appeared. Everyone in life has got a star and there is a number on that star. And there is something you have to know. It doesn't matter how hell tries. It doesn't matter how hell breaks forth. They cannot take your star. Your star has a number. I say your star has a number. Your star has your number. Because it has a number. No man can take your star. No man can take that which belongs to you. The Bible says in Luke chapter 12, I believe, from verse 4, I think, he said, do not fear them who after they kill your body, they have nothing they can do to you. He said, but let me forewarn you from verse 5, who you shall fear. Fear him after he has killed your body, can cast your soul into hell, and not five fast parts, one thing at a time. You have several goals. You have several goals. Jack of all trades and master. A rolling stone gathers. No more. You're like a rolling stone. There are people that have several dreams. Even in ministry. They have several callings. They see a prophet. Say, the way I'm seeing this man, it's like God called me to prophesy. They see a pastor. It's like I have a pastoral grace. They see an evangelist. I'm sensing evangelistic unction. They see a teacher. Man, it's like I have depth for teaching. You are everywhere. A young man wrote everything on his shirt. Apostle, prophet, evangelist, A-P-E. Somebody says you should look at what he wrote. Ape, ape, ape. Apostle, <laughs> prophet, evangelist. He said you wrote ape. You are everywhere. You want to do everything. You don't have a focus. Now, you are even, you started January pursuing something. You have shifted now. You are pursuing something. I told one of my daughters two days ago. I said, no, finish this one. Leave the other ones. Finish this one. Then you move to another. That is what life is. You cannot jump from Tuesday to Saturday. You must pass through Wednesday. Take life in stages. Have a goal. Have a pursuit. Every time I enter the year, I have goals. The first goals I set are spiritual goals. Goals for prayer, goals for scriptures. Then I now set other goals. And begin to pursue them. Have a focus. To be everywhere is to be nowhere. It's not everybody that calls you that you visit. Not every call you pick. When your phone is ringing, look at who is calling. Will this person add to your life? Nobody should call you just to gist. It's a waste of time. What will this person add to my life? 
To be everywhere is to be nowhere. To be doing everything is to be doing nothing. You can be active and not effective. Eh? Activity is not effectivity. How many of you know that motion is not movement? You're on the spot. Are you moving? There are people who must get to that point where you must itemize your dreams, itemize your pursuits, itemize what you expect, itemize. How many of you understand? If you understand the law of firearms, firearms, you will know that when bullets are scattered, its impact is minimal. When bullets are scattered, its impact. That's why some people have pallets of bullets that cannot do that dangerous harm. When bullets are scattered, the impact is minimal. When your life is scattered, your impact is minimal. You can't make impact on the premise of a scattered life. You can't make impact on the platform of an, un an unorganized, unstructured life. Anything that breaks your focus will shake your destiny. One God plants something in your heart. Hold it on. And that is why when people get into relationships and they are traveling abroad, I always tell the young lady, you better do something if you still want this marriage. Because most young men are not well emotionally grounded. When you get abroad, you will see things. There are people that will just, I mean, they are walking naked. Do you like it? Do you like it? So you are surprised that the young man travels abroad. He's not taking your calls anymore. His focus has been shifted. He has seen the daughters of Eve. He has seen man made walking on two feet. So I tell them, I said, you, 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 how long is he? Says, when he gets his document, he will come and carry him. <laughs> oh, I said, I said, no problem. You better do something now. Better do something now. Because, focus. Only if you have that brutal focus. Am I speaking to somebody here? Sir, there will be things in life that want to shake your focus. People will lie against you. is to shake your focus. People will come up with stories is to shake your focus. People will irritate you is to shake your focus. Focus on where you are going. I said focus on where you are going. Focus on where you are going. I told you the story of a young man who was giving water on a spoon. You know spoon? They put water. They should move from this end to that end. And a single drop should not touch the ground. Not this hill, it's plain floor. But there's a problem. On his left side, people will be cursing him. On the right side, people will be praising him. And he should take the spoon. He should make sure nothing drops. Two people are going to be following him, looking at the ground carefully. On the left, people, all kinds of curses. On the right, all kinds of praises. The young man started moving. Moving moving they were following and got to the spot without a drop on the ground they said wow nobody has been able to do this why how could you do it he said i ignored those who were cursing me i ignored those who were praising me i focused on the assignment i was given that is what it takes to prosper those who hate you don't know you am i talking to somebody here those who hate you don't know you. If you actually understand that people that don't like you are actually angry that they are not like you. Some people that don't like you, it is envy. Envy is the levy that haters pay. Those that don't know you, hate you. And many of you are worried about people that don't like you. And you see, I worry why you worry. 
about people that don't like you. It's very funny. People don't like you. And you are worried that don't like you. They don't like you. Somebody say it doesn't like you. And you are worried that they don't like you. The people they like, how much are they paying them every month for liking them? No. Somebody say, ah, I don't like you. I don't like you. Say, please, excuse me. Uh, those people you like, how much do you pay them? So that I will know if I should start crying. I don't just like your face. Those people you like their face. Has your likeness made their face better? Do you know the energy it takes not to like? Somebody has to generate energy not to like you. You see, we are in a very, we are in a, a, degen, a mentally degenerate generation. There are some things people stand and start laughing. Somebody was being, somebody said to me, said they are dragging him online. I said, but you are in your house now. Say they are dragging him. I said, what does that mean? Say they are saying all kinds of, I said, no. When people are talking about you, writing, posting, they are not dragging you. It's you that is dragging them. Because they will upload their phone. They will get data. They will post. They will charge the phone. You are the one dragging them. You are sitting on the spot. You are the one dragging them, making them post, making them repost, making them comment. You are the boss. Because when you get to the top, you become a topic. They are not dragging. You are the one dragging them. The person you say you are dragging is in his house, resting. You are typing. You are posting. You are sharing. The man is resting. The woman is resting. So, the person you are attacking is the one dragging you. Giving you sleepless nights. I many of you don't understand. Your neighbor doesn't like you, so you are worried. Does, does the, your neighbor pay your rent? Oh, oh, if I, eh, 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 I, I pass through this place, they didn't greet me. If they greet you before you respond, your journey will be slow. You are not greeting me gives me speed you move faster when nobody so have that understanding i'm saying this to boost your confidence so that nobody makes you feel you are less than anything am i speaking to somebody here god loves me what do i need your love for if the king of kings the creator of the heavens and the earth loves me That's what it takes to survive. When they try to pull you down, tell them you're not going anywhere. Stand. When people are attacking you, attacking you, that is when you should dress well. Take a picture, post it. Backbiters are at your back. They are biting your back. Don't turn your front for them to front bite you. Let them remain at your back. Backbiters are at your back. Stay at my back. You are a backbiter. Be biting my back. Stay at the back. Stay at the back. Stay there. They are doing what they are doing. You just set your camera. Dance. Dance dance am i talking to somebody don't let nobody nobody am i speaking here they want to see you drown you will not drown they can't up against you they will fail am i speaking to somebody here you didn't hear what i said though when they expect to see you down put on your best clothes and dress when they expect to see you stranded that is when you are bouncing not this will happen to you they expect to see you fail dear father am i talking to somebody here dear father am i speaking to somebody here <coughs> You're bouncing. When sometimes those days, they, when they <laughs> when they are doing what they are doing, I stay in my room. I say, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. One time, some people were not sleeping the night. Every night it was supposed to sleep, man. Every night, some of you remember then. Every night. So one of the days, mommy came to my room and saw me sleeping. She shook her head and just went back. He said, the person they are talking about is sleeping. And people are awake to talk about a man that is sleeping. Yeah. 
my 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 younger sister was talking to me. He said, Mommy and I were discussing one day. We were just feeling bad. So we entered your room and saw you. Mommy entered your room and saw you laughing and joking on the phone. She just came back and said, tch, tch. See the person that I'm even their father. I'm teaching you how to be tough. Be tough. I told my biological children, I said, respect everybody, but fear no one. So if you are my child, respect everybody, but fear no one. I said to them, nobody can kill you. With your life. So long you are walking with Jesus, don't be intimidated. Don't let people talk and you are shaking. If a girl like you talk to you, talk to her. If a boy like you talk to talk to her. Don't let your enemy have the last say. I don't want to see you as a member of Omega Fire Ministries. Somebody's oppressing you. For what? Somebody's intimidating you. You are, you are the one that should oppress them. There was a president, let me say this to you. There was a president in this country. One time, he was a president. And I went, I didn't like him. And I didn't like him. He was too weak. It's too weak. I don't like people who are weak. I like tough men. We are you can't be a goat in the generation of lions. I like I don't like weak people. It was too weak. People were just still doing all kinds of things, were just gentle. So I was opportune to be one time after so much pressure. They say it's not you're a man of God, it's not fair. Go on. I walked to him. They made a meeting 1 a.m. I got there and I sat down. And he said, Ah, Apostle, ah, I'll be waiting for you. I'm going out by two. I don't know what we want to discuss if we can be fast. I said, No problem. When I started talking, he said, I'm coming. He stood up, took a pen and a paper, and began to write. I got to a point, he bowed, he said, He said, Where have you been? I said, Please, sir, let me finish talking. While I was talking, one of the ladies, one of the powerful ladies in the villa came and said, Apostle, it's taking too much time. Apostle, you have five minutes more. I said, Says who? I'm not your guest. He was somebody that they fear. So people are using their head to calculate now. It was a lady that they fear. People shake. As I says, who? He said, excuse me. I said, you, have, you want me to reduce this to three minutes? I said, you are too small. I was invited by the CEC. You are too small. Reduce what? I said, please excuse us. Uh -uh. I saw even the president was like looking at me. And this is what she said. Do you know I can walk you out of this villa. I said, yes, you can. But I can walk you out of this life. He said, what? You are threatening my life? I said, you are threatening my stay? She just turned and walked out. When I was leaving, they had positioned somebody that she wants to see you. I said, no, let her come. I'm not going there. She came. Brought the phone, he said, put your number here. And I tapped my number. She said, he said, is it this number? I said, yes, say yes. Like, and I called me. He said, nobody has gotten that kind of audacity. Who are you? Who is behind you? The El Shaddai. A witch is bold and is threatening that no one can get. No believer, no believer should be intimidated. You carry God inside of you. I'm crucified with Christ. My life is in hidden God. So for you to kill me, you must first kill God, bring out Christ. Kill Christ, bring out the Holy Ghost. Be kill the Holy Ghost before you kill me. Please understand that God loves you. Don't be intimidated. Don't be, keep your focus brutal. You are going somewhere to happen. Your life cannot be cut short. I'm not in I'm not I'm not in a city, I'm in a small community here. But from here we are shaking the world because a man is focused. Sometimes when they attack us, they are watching us on TV to see if we'll preach. To see if we are doing church. That's the day I scream more. Dress well. Dress. I dress well. Now you go tired. 
I don't dress well. Don't be intimidated. Somebody doesn't like you. Same neighbor, when you are cooking, open the window. Let all the children, let them perceive it. Let them be hearing it. Somebody say, focus. Number three, and then I'll pray. The impact of a star is felt at night. The impact, the relevance of a star is felt at night. The relevance of a star. Do you see stars during the day? When do they appear? At night. What is the night? Psalm chapter 30 from verse 5. In his favor is life. For weeping may endure for the night. The night is the time of weeping. The night is the time of pain. The night is the time of hardship. The night is the time of poverty. That time that is called night, that is when God expects you to shine. What does it mean to shine at night? It means when everybody is stranded, that is when God expects you to rise. You cannot shine when things are good. You shine when things are bad. When people don't know where to go, they don't know where the next meal will come from, that is when you shine. Am I speaking to somebody? You see, when men say there is a casting down thou shalt say there is a lifting up, you shine at night it doesn't matter the hardship the famine, the wilderness you shine at night, it doesn't matter the pain, you shine at night where others go and they fail you go there you succeed oh, you shine at night, where others go and they are cast down, you go you are lifted up, you shine at night the exam they write they fail you write that exam you succeed you shine at night, the business they do the pack up, you do that business, you so say, you know, you shine at night. Do you know every recession unveils a new financial champion? Eh? Every recession, anytime there's a recession, there is scarcity. That is when some people take advantage. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There are people that will tell you how they became billionaires and millionaires in the midst of scarcity. Am I talking to somebody here? Anytime there is famine in the land, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. The Bible says the man was great. Genesis 26, 13. The man was great. He went forward and it grew until it became very great. No matter the economy of the forest, the lion will not eat grass. No matter the economy of the forest, the lion will not eat grass. It doesn't matter the hardship others experience. The night time is the right time. The night time is the right time. The night time is the time to shine. The night time is the time to prosper. It's not your location. Stop running to America, running to Lagos, running to Abu. It's not location. It's a location. It's when great men die, you know the village they come from. When they mention the village, regret to announce a timely death of His Excellency. So, 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 so. From Enugu, a place called Anwai, in Nongpa. You start hearing names. <laughs> Am I talking to somebody here? So you must understand when things are hard for people, that is the time for you to be lifted. Our economy, our economy is not this world. When we give, we sow seed, we sacrifice, we are building another economy. That is where we tap from. In the times of scarcity, that is where we plug into and tap from. Someone sent me a message yesterday, say, Papa, in this scarcity, feeding weekly still going on as even if a bag of rice is hundred thousand people will see it weekly here because my, my my resource is not from here people don't understand they think it's when i say it's not from here they think there's money bank somewhere you see that first building that first building is worth about 250 million when we started building we had eight hundred thousand in the bank and even the 800,000, God said to me, give it out. Who gives when he's building? So we started on zero, zero, zero. Zero. But in one year, the building was standing. Why? Our economy is from above. There are people that do not understand. 
when you he said he said lay not your treasures on earth where moth and thieves can steal but lay your treasures above when we give when we sow when we do what we do we are laying treasures are you listening we are laying treasures the kind of wealth that god has blessed and given to us as a ministry you can't get it from being fake you can't get it from games you can't get it from gimmicks you can't all our pastors are building mega mega churches everywhere i saw the i saw the property in south africa i said what is this what is this massive with complexes with massive lands owning a, a whole area look at why economy is not from here property owned by white people black people came and bought it Am I talking to somebody here? And they said, we need to see. Is it church? A church? Who is, who is the pastor? For this kind of fit. Sir, our economy is not here. Your problem is that you always look at your bank account to determine your survival. No. It is your investment in the kingdom that makes you credit worthy. Your investment. In the, so when they say give, you don't give. No problem. A time is coming. Famine will soon come. Those who are saving money, I pity you. Keep saving. In six months, the money you save has lost value. Just imagine those who saved two million naira in their account last year. Do you know the value of dollar now? Of dollar now. Is nine something. Of course, nine something. The dollar is about nine ten, nine twenty. Huh? Nine what? Even those that don't use dollar, I'll talk in nine, 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 nine. So I will say good night. <laughs> so the greatest investment in this world is investing in the kingdom. That's the greatest investment. Look at every other thing we fail. 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 The night. So anytime there is poverty in the land, that is the time for the church to shine. I was talking to the Lord as I was sitting down there. I was talking to the Lord as I was praying this morning. I said, Lord, I don't just want to be rich. I don't. What is that? Bring it up again. All of those lands, everything from building everywhere. I was talking to the Lord. I said, I am not just going to be rich. I'll be the richest. And since yesterday, it hit me. I began to plan what I will do. That's what it takes to, to call the wealth. I started planning. See what, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do. What, I don't plan according to budget. We are not, we are not economists. We are water addicts. These are a talk, oh. Why is he talking like now on the other time? Why is he talking? How can pastors open man? Pastor may say he will be the riches. What is that? Is that not pride? I don't no, I I I am not angry with you at all. I honestly I'm not angry with you. This was the same attitude your father had in Auto, Auto Dust Church. <laughs> that, that made them that made them drive him. It was a <laughs> that's how we argue. Why is why is father taking one giving all bread? They relocated him to the back of the church. They made the chairman of bazaar. He complained. They took bazaar from him. <laughs> so it's not a problem. But I've said it. I stood on the altar over there. I said, God will give us a play. People are looking at me like this. I'm calling for those things that be not. When it came, none of our senior pastors were aware. No, we didn't know. We've just talked, 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 talked. We just said. Three days later, I called them. I said, plane has come. They said, eh? So we don't understand. How? I said, it has come. And they started talking. They started talking. As they were talking, I told mama, I said, I will reply them now. Another one came. 
that thing that's making you angry, I will do it again. And everybody kept going. Listen to me. Nobody in this place will be poor. God has blessed us and I don't have one dime from church offering in my pocket. One dime. Nobody born of a woman can say, I made him. What? Not one dime. Have you heard people say, church, ah, those pastors, they are cashing out to... Oh, open your church now. You don't want to cash out to... Oh. Don't you want to cash out? Pastors are cashing out to... Oh. Pastors are enjoying to... Oh. Ah, they are making money, oh, they are cashing out. Don't you like to cash out? Open your church and go to Asia, one demonic land in Asia, and do one crusade and see if your head will follow you back. Go to one, one place in Jebibo and go and stand against witchcraft, stand against Abalis, and see if you will not come back with your leg or your head, your head or your leg. They will reset your brain. They will understand that this thing, there are, there are, there are forces that people confront. Am I talking to somebody here? You think this is this thing is, is say they are just they are just uh, uh, they are just playing them. You are playing the same people for ten years. You must be a genius. Same people, same people. Because there are people that don't understand. It's like government where somebody is com contesting. When I come, one dollar, one naira. When I come, I will put airports in your backyard. When I <laughs> when I come, one bag of rice, fifty kobo. When they enter government, after three months, they say, I didn't say it to be automatic. Shut up. You said so. I didn't say it's going to be overnight. But that's what you told us. You know why? They were outside. They have not entered inside. When they enter inside and discover the depth, the problem, they change mind. So it's easy to talk. See, see, Papa. Ah! See the white chair. <laughs> white rug. <laughs> see the Agbada. Look at the security. If you know the problem following those things you are seeing. There are people in this place now who came all the way down. They want a touch of God on their life. There are people that came, they want counsel. There are some other that came, they want us rent. There are some others that came, they want school fees. They want feeding money. There are several. Yes, that is that is that is the that is the anointing. That is the anointing. Two weeks ago, somebody came, 16, 16 of them. So they came, they are going back. I said, well, say no transport. I thought they came from when they told me where they came from, out of the country. Buy ticket for 16 people. I said, come, see here. <laughs> people should be careful that's what it takes you cannot handle microphone until you have handled rag phone until you have handled broom phone I'm saying when it gets hard you switch you leave this realm and you go to another realm you switch to the the stars shine brighter when it's night so when others are stranded when others don't have what to eat when others don't have yet to turn to that is the best time for you to shine they are surprised they don't know what is going on in a bad economy you are buying cars in a bad economy you are feeding well in a bad economy your children are going to school in a bad economy your wife is shining your husband is shining your family is shining in a bad economy why you are the star you shine better at night you are the star you shine brighter when things are dark you are the star you stand brighter when others have given up. Am I talking to somebody right now? Be upstanding and let me pray with you.